two questions. It's a great college baseball game tonight. I um, you know, feel very fortunate to be sitting up here as a, a winning coach tonight because it could have gone uh, in a different direction. Roth battled his rear end off force and kept us in a position to win. John Luke Jacobs for Auburn was really special. He was mixing and matching and you know, sneaking, locating his fastball, change ups, his breaking ball was really good. He, he um, just seemed to throw a breaking ball in his own when he needed to, and when he didn't, he would throw one that we would offer at, I think nine strikeouts it was, and you know, he was very special. It was a pitcher's duel, and, and we're fortunate we we're able to, to push a run across. We, we stayed out of some trouble uh, because of, you know, Walker had three picks over the first tonight. Jack Williams made a couple of nice plays and left. One great play. And um, I thought Marzelli did a nice job coming in on the ball earlier in the game. So it was a, it was a great win for us. And, you know, Roth, again, kept us in position. Question for Coach. <clears throat> All right, you get the leadoff man on the ninth with Anderson coming up. Um, when you, you keep him in there, too, you, you tell him to go ahead and bump with 2-2. Two, two. Um, any, any, I guess, maybe questions on maybe a pinch hit for him or to take the bunt off? Well, not to be facetious, but who would you have recommended as we pinch it? <laughs> I'm not sure uh, who would we, we would have put up there. I mean, I could have, and it crossed my mind. Roth asked me when he exited, he said, or, did you announce me as the DH? I said, no, I'm going to leave you, leave you out of this. So he could have possibly been in that spot had I decided to do that. But, you know, Deshaun's had some pretty good at-bats in his short stint and had a tough pitch. Uh, First one was kind of breaking ball down and away, a tough pitch to bunt, got you know, didn't get the call and he hung in there and, and battled and two strikes, not the ideal situation to bunt, but he got it down. And then Mooney hits the ball probably too hard. The outfield had, had gone shallow and um, I didn't think he got a chance to score and Coach Holbrook recognized it. And um, and then Wingo hit that ball pretty well to center. That ball was touched off pretty good uh, for day. I guess it was that Simpson or for that Simpson ran that ball down. I mean, it was going to be a sack fly either way, but I didn't think he had a chance to even get a glove on it. And he, he ran that thing down. He could really run. But um, just uh, we battled. We, you know, found a, found a way to get it done tonight. Both teams had opportunities, and, and we're very fortunate to be able to win. We all let some runners on base early. Did you think early that they would come back to bite you? And did, did Jacobs do something different uh, later, in, later in the game the second time through the order? Well, we did, you know, we did leave a bunch of runners on early, and you know, you 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 think normally that's going to come back to haunt you when you leave those guys out there. We couldn't even come up with a hit. I think we had Jake Williams and Wingo at the plate in less than two outs early on, and uh, they didn't move the baseball when you got got to move it there to get a run home. We weren't able to do that, and then he settled in. I don't think we we didn't get a hit past the fourth until the ninth. I believe that's correct. So I mean, he yeah he he got it going. I mean, sometimes when a pitcher settles in like that, they can throw the breaking stuff and change up for strikes. They can also throw them for balls when they want to. And uh, you get chases. And, uh, you know, we chased a few, but, you know, as I said to the players, it's a lot easier sitting in the dugout uh, and staying off of those pitches than it is up at the plate. I understand that. And, uh, you know, we're, he pitched well. Jake has really pitched well. But Roth was good, too. So we got out of some situations with the defense, and uh, Mooney had to go in the hole a couple of times, and Walker, Walker picked it out of the dirt. So. Yeah, it was anybody's game tonight. We're, we're um, fortunate to be able to push a run across in the night. Yeah, Bar Barry said that Jacobs and Roth were a lot alike. Did you see some similarities in, in the way they played? Uh, you know, I did. Uh, you know, obviously one's right and one's left, but uh, neither one of them are going to wow you with the fastball. Although I thought Roth did have a, a little bit of velocity tonight, more so than a couple of couple of his other starts. Uh, but they make it tough on hitters. Uh, they don't. They don't throw a lot of pitches down Broadway, they, they mix and match you and throw one in, throw one out, change one up, you know, and the breaking ball in the different angles. It's, uh, it's not easy to hit those guys. I, I guarantee you, um, most college baseball players would prefer a guy going up to 88 to 92 and challenging you. And, and then you face guys that really can pitch and it makes it difficult. Scott. You briefly mentioned this, but it looks like tonight you guys won this game as much as great defense as anything. Talk about the defensive performance, especially Mooney, and uh, we had a couple of great plays as well, too. Well, you know, Morales had a forehand yeah. over there that he knocked down and uh, was able to throw out the runner. And, you know, Brady throws a guy out at second. Williams made a play going yeah. back 
the pl the ball that he dove for in the corner late in the game, we were we were yelling no no no. We wanted him to play it into a single. You know, the coaches were sitting there, and they, we, he hits it in the corner, and we were going, no, no, when he dove, and he catches it, and we go, yes. So, <laughs> but that's a that's a tough play, and I thought Marzilli made a nice play, coming in on the ball maybe about the third inning, a little bloop that he got a good jump on, that he, he got to it. But and Mooney had the, some balls in the hole that were tough plays, and Walker Walker dug them out for him. A lot of defense. It seemed like over the last maybe uh, three, four weeks, you guys have played really very solid defense on no more than an error to error any game. You went to a streak there with nine, ten games, no errors. As opposed to the early, I think during the middle part of the season, you had several games. Well, we had. I, I mean, sometimes you sometimes you you don't really realize what the defense did for you, but it kept you out of trouble. You know, when you're making plays, and sometimes it goes unnoticed a little bit, but. You make plays, you, you keep your team out of trouble and you keep them out of those deficit innings. You know, where you may trail, but you're not behind by much because you're able to, to stay in there with your defense. And that's been really important for us, no, no doubt about it. Tim, another game where you guys are just a little bit better, just good enough to get the win. Can you talk about how this team seemed to consistently find ways? <laughs> well, it's a it's a, a great approach, and you know that being said, we could have lost a night, and I would have still been up here saying the same thing. I mean, you know, we we go into it trying to figure out a way, trying to make adjustments at the plate, which we didn't do really good tonight with Jacobs out there. But we, you know, the guys understand we have a plan. We're going to pitch well ourselves. We play defense. We got we're going to have a crack at it. We don't, you know, we don't take the approach that. You know, we're unbeatable, and all we got to do is show and go and throw our gloves out there. We're not good enough to do that. And, um, and guys fight, they scratch and claw and try to figure out a way to win if we have an opportunity. And we've won a lot of close games, defense, pitching late. Uh, Taylor comes in, gets his outs in the ninth, and you know, we're, we're very fortunate. We've won a, we've won a lot of those games. And, and I said, I think earlier this week, the approach is great. You know, the guys that, you know, that play, Brady and Morales and Wingo and, you know, Roth and, Marzelli's back in there with us now, and, and uh, those guys, you know, those guys come to play and try to figure it out. It's not an easy thing to do, but all you can ask them is to have a good approach and and uh, battle, and they've done that. John, I know the answer might be different tomorrow morning when you wake up, but do you expect to keep Evan in center um, for most of the year? Is that is that where you kind of see him, or or do you see Deshaun get getting back in there some? Oh no, I I, I um if, if Evan. If Evan is able to stay in the lineup, he's, he's a center fielder. Deshaun just doesn't have enough game experience. And, and Evan Marzilli is really good. He is a center fielder by trade. And when he came here, we had two pretty good center fielders, and, and Jackie Jr. and Merrifield. So he was going to have to bide his time to get, get in center. And um, so that's, uh, that's where he's going to be when he can play. You know, the other day or last weekend, Deshaun was thrown into the fire. He was a little more comfortable in center than anywhere else. So that's where he got a chance to play. But, you know, with, with uh, Marzilli playing and Jake's a pretty solid left fielder, Roberts played really well in right. Uh, that, you know, that, that'll that be the way we go in the outfield. David? Right with Wingo's walk off his, it just kind of seemed like it always represents his career kind of much. I mean, he might be going along with a little bit of a down uh, slump. He strikes out three times, then he does something where he's the hero all over again. Well, you know, he, you know, he's one of those guys that he had a couple at bats that he'd like to get back, and uh, but it didn't, uh, you know, it didn't take him out of his game. It, it upset him, but it didn't disturb him. And you know, he told me I took a bad pitch, or t you know, swung at a, swung at one I shouldn't have, took one I should have swung at, and and uh, you know, I, I said a couple times in the dugout, my took struck out three times and got a double in his fourth at bat last night for LSU. So. But mature guys, veteran guys, they still try to get another at bat. And um, we had even told Wingo while they were having a pitching conference that there's a possibility, although you're left-handed, there's a possibility we, we may drop one down here if we, if we get in a situation where the infield's not exactly where we think they should be, we, we may do it. He said, I'll get this run home, don't worry. And he did. He hit that ball well. Based on the reports we received, I think Jackie's surgery went pretty much as, as planned. Uh, from your perspective, was it a best case scenario in terms of the way the, way the surgery went? The way it was described to me today, I talked to Brandon Cooper uh, while he was in recovery today, and he explained it all to me. And 
Um, then I told him, explain it now with words that I understand. <laughs> and uh, so he, he told me that it was kind of what they expected. And, um, you know, I, I think there's an anchor in there. There's some things, but he, he feels like it was as good as it could be. And we'll just see how it responds now. It's, uh, you know, it's a long shot, of course. And, uh, but I, I think uh, Jackie, myself, and a lot of other people would like to see him back in that garnet and black few more times before he's uh, off to professional baseball. So we'll, we'll see if, if he's able to get back toward the end. Anything else? All right, y'all. Thank you.